What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I am thrifting today looking for treasure. I'm in Goodwill right now. Got a few things in my cart already. Uh, some zest soap I'm not reselling. I uh, just thought it was a good deal. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy some for me. I got one of those Lumisource lights in there. Plasma lights, uh, dolphin. So going to be some good profit in those. As always, I talk about everything I find on the day at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. I'm just checking out the shoes now, looking for the the rare Jordans. Uh, <laughs> I think the best pair of shoes I've ever sold was the $500 pair of Jordans I picked up at a garage sale. And I probably could have got 750 for those if they didn't have a little bit of damage, unfortunately. So here in this Goodwill, I'm in a new one. I got some stuff in the cart. Uh, one of those Cricut... Uh, what are they? Paper cutting machines? I'm not even sure exactly, to be honest. And an Eevee plush, Pokemon plush, and I see a dartboard up there I grab as well. It's worth some money. And yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, Nike shoes. Yeah, Jordans uh, I sold for about 500 Could have got 750 And some Balenciaga shoes I sold for right around 500 uh, Two of my best shoe sales. So you never know what kind of shoes you can find. Uh, definitely some high dollar stuff out there. Some high dollar glassware also. I just have to be able to spot it. Uh, here's here's some uh, Pyrex. Uh, not super high dollar. $6.99. It's in very good condition. So it's like, yeah, I buy that for $6.99. I recently found a, a decent Pyrex piece at this Goodwill. I sold for about $35, $40. I don't remember exactly. Here's some sort of pink glass. It looked, looked newer. Nothing old or special that I can recognize. Uh, there's so much to learn when it comes to this glass stuff. It's just being able to spot it by walking by. Uh, takes a very good eye, a lot of experience. I can spot a lot of things <laughs> to resell and make money. Glassware is one of my weakest areas. I'm always trying to learn some more stuff. Uh, this is pretty interesting. It seems like I looked those up. Um, maybe not worth a whole lot. Next, Goodwill. I got some shoes in the cart. I got this game, which I ended up putting it back because it wasn't worth money. And I see this Sanyo uh, VCR in the box. I was hoping it was new. It's not. It's it's packed in there really good, though. Uh, $6.99. It's a good one. So happy to pick that up with the box. It's always a pleasure. And this end cap here, it's overflowing. Let's see what we can find. A lot of things to look up and pay attention to. This Pro Commander, I remember looking it up and not being worth a whole lot of money. So left that. This interesting calculator, vintage, $1.99. Nah, not really worth it. You got this old phone style here, $12.99 for the phone. But again, I looked it up in the comps. Uh, seems like they were selling for like $30, so at $12.99, I didn't really feel like it was worth my time. Uh, some RCA stuff, the Logitech keyboard, mouse, you know, just some stuff that maybe you could make a few dollars on, but I just decided to pass on it. I'm trying to find things I can make a bit more. <laughs> I zoom in because I see this Casio keyboard, huge Casio keyboard in the box. Uh, it wasn't new, and it was priced like $60 or something like that. I looked it up, just wasn't worth selling, right? Uh, I've been finding a lot of keyboards recently. Uh, sold some, actually. So, I got some stuff in the cart. You saw there, some good stuff. Looking in these toys. And, um, yeah, I don't see anything. I've sold a couple of these items I can see <laughs> already. So, good pickups. I uh, see a little Barbie jet. Uh, I did some Barbie auctions for some accessories and clothes uh, last week, and they did not sell very well. Here's a Girl Talk vintage game. I sold this new before for $200 on Amazon. I looked that up because I thought used it'd be worth it. Nah, I, I, I put it back. Same with this doll. Just nothing special, so wasn't selling or wasn't on eBay, so just decided to put it back. And here I find myself a girlfriend. So I checked the price and uh, she's too expensive. <laughs> so uh, I leave her on the shelf. Um, what else? I don't know. A lot. I see a lot of those larger 
life-size dolls or whatever you call them and usually not worth anything so we're at the church thrift store here looking around i see these and you know what i think this was a strawberry shortcake or something i wasn't sure i, I did some research on it it's funny because yesterday i it's been like two weeks since i've been in there and i, I don't even remember seeing it uh, i was looking at it yesterday just as i was here today don't even remember <laughs> But a lot of stuff in this thrift store, it never changes. Uh, anything new and good, it probably just disappears really quick. I saw the end of a baseball bat there. I don't know if I noticed that though. Uh, it could have been a decent baseball bat. Never know. I did find some stuff in the church thrift, make some money, but board game wise, toy wise, uh, not really anything too special. Now, I do find this, it's a, uh, Choose your own adventure book. Not worth a whole lot on its own, but they're good to lot up. And books are only 10 cents at this thrift store. It's not like Goodwill where I'd have to pay $3 for that. So I went ahead and grabbed that just to put with the rest of them I've been finding. I've got some really good pulls out of this Goodwill, but they're you know rare. <laughs> rare to see. Uh, the Optimus Prime I mentioned every time I'm in here. Still down there. No one's bottom. Not priced high. Uh, just no one... No one wants it. And uh, I guess it goes to show you at these thrift stores, you got to price stuff low. Uh, and sometimes, even when you price them low, people are still not going to want that stuff. So if you're pricing it high, they're definitely not going to want it. There's a vintage Halloween sign at this Goodwill. Uh, $5 from year 2000. Maybe could have made some money. I looked on eBay. I didn't see any. And it's, it would have been a pain to ship. Uh, Goodwills are starting to put out their Halloween stuff, which I love looking through Halloween stuff. Find cool things. Here's one of these Squishmallow, it's like a Halloween basket. I um, thought this was gonna be good. Had new with tags, looked it up. Not one I saw sell, at least new. And uh, it was like $20 is what they listed for. Quite a few listed, so I just put it back. Here's this pumpkin and I start moving it. I'm like, this thing is really heavy. It's like cast iron maybe. Um, resin, uh, it's probably a cast iron pumpkin. I probably should have gave this a shot. I was looking for a name on there. Uh, you know, some of this stuff, I don't know how old it was. Could have been a miss, uh, probably was. Probably could have made some money really at that weight to ship it. I just kind of decided to pass on it. It wasn't in great condition either. I know some of the, the really old cast iron stuff can be really big money. So another Goodwill, I'm checking out Halloween stuff. This aisle starting to fill up a little bit. Here's a spooky hollow. I looked it up. Not worth anything. It's not Lamax or Linux or Department 56, any of that kind of stuff where and they can sell for hundreds if you find the right piece. Uh, here's a, well, I thought it was Yadro. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, nope. Just uh, had a Made in China sticker on the bottom, so put that back down. It had the look. What else? Some wood stuff, some baskets. This Goodwill has been crazy. They've been pricing baskets and stuff. Just high dollar. I feel sorry for anybody who just likes to buy that stuff just to have. And because you're not really getting good deals. Uh, is everything's priced high. There's a random glass at one of these Goodwills I wanted to purchase just to use. Just a basic glass. I kind of liked it. It was $8. I was, like, I was expecting like a dollar or two, right? Uh, no way I'm paying $8 for a glass like that. It's just insane. Anyway, I, see, I feel like I start ranting about that every video, so I'll shut up and we'll look at what's on the shelf here. Some blood pressure, I guess, uh, testers here. Um, I, I've looked them up in the past. I've never found any worth anything. Here's a random Halloween like zombie, and this was only $8.99. Uh, unless that was the button that's pinned to it that was $8.99. You never know with Goodwill. That seems very low that they would price that $8.99. So it could have been the, the button that they wanted $8.99 for. But that could have been something worth money. Maybe I should have paid more attention to that. I saw this Craftsman toolbox though and I got pretty excited. It was $25. Pretty beat up. No tools inside. I, I didn't want to mess with it after I determined that. Um, I did find a... Uh, King Cutter set. Was it this Goodwill? I think so. In a box. Uh, make some money on that. And 
What else? We got a, a lamp or a light of some sort. I don't know if it was new. Uh, we got, ah, these like stamp sets. I see these every now and then, usually at Goodwill, and they got them priced like this, $5 a piece. Uh, I've done research on them. They're just not really worth it. Maybe certain ones, but at that price, I'm not messing with them. If I found a, a big box of them for like maybe 10 or 20 bucks, then I would buy them, but $5 a piece, you just can't really make any money unless, again, you're finding one that's special and maybe sought after. But I did find some special things today. Let me show you. So here are the Goodwill finds and also a church thrift store I forgot I stopped at. So start right back here. I got this Build-A-Bear Pokemon plush. Some of these are worth big money. This one, Eevee with the little padding armor. Uh, I think I can make at least $20 profit on that. So I picked it up for $3.99. Great price. Got this Disney Frozen toy for $3.99. It has some box damage, otherwise new. Uh, I think I'm going to make at least $15 profit on that. Here's one of these King Cutter food processing grinder things. I got these before. I've sold them. They sell great. This one seems to be complete in there. Uh, I believe I'd be able to sell this for at least $50 plus shipping. I actually got this. It was $5.99, but I had a $5 off coupon if I spent $20, which I did. So yeah, I'm going to make some great profit on that. Below it got me really excited at first till I saw the tape on it. This is a inbox Sanyo VCR. Has the remote has the, all the packaging inside. It was only $6.99. There's another reseller in there that was leaving. I don't know why they didn't pick this up. Maybe they just don't want to deal with the electronics, testing them, and risk of returns and all that. But I should be able to sell this for, I think, about $80 or more. Maybe $100 on Amazon, I was seeing. Since this one has the box and everything, providing it works after I thoroughly test it. I'll just sell it on Amazon. If not, it was selling great on eBay between $50 and $60 with the remote. So great pickup there. Church thrift store, you know, I got this book for 10 cents. It's one of the choose your own adventure books. I've just been grabbing them when I see them because I like them. I don't know if this one specifically would be worth anything, but they do a lot well together if you happen to get a decent amount. Picked up these brand new filters. Kenmore Elites, not big money, but between the two of them here, I should make about $15 profit. Paid $5.99 for this trouble game uh, because, well, it sells on Amazon. I think it was $35, $40. I was seeing it sell for with a pretty good rank. So I got my Amazon shipment. Get ready to go out so I can add that in real quick. Got this at Goodwill for $10. This is some sort of Bluetooth cellular adapter. I'm not even sure what it is. Cell Gateway. But you can see at some point it was being sold for $80. And I'll probably sell this for $80 on Amazon. I think there was one on Amazon for $45 used. So I'll come in and sell that for, yeah, I'll price it $79.99. I think it's going to sell at some point. I've sold a lot of obscure sealed items like that on Amazon. So for 50 cents at the thrift store, I got this backgammon game. I was just talking about these in a video, how some sets, you know, can be worth over a thousand dollars even if you're finding the right ones. Of course, I knew buying this, it wasn't worth much at all, if anything, but at 50 cents, I think I can make $10 profit on it. So I got one of these cricket things. I uh, usually see these at Goodwill, but they're priced a lot of money. I've seen them priced over $200 at Goodwill. I've looked them up and it's like, this is only selling for 80 bucks. What do you do in Goodwill? This one was only $5.99. So it doesn't seem like it's a great model. I think I'm going to be able to sell it though for like 50 bucks plus shipping, make around $40 on it, something like that. So I went ahead and picked it up. I don't even know how to how I'm going to test this. I've never messed with them before. I'll probably just power it on, power it on and go from there. So back here for $20, I got this electronic dartboard. And uh, yeah, I didn't really want to pick it up to sell because of the size, but I kind of wanted one. I think darts is an interesting game. I would like to play it more. This has all the darts. It's in amazing condition. I looked it up. Some of these dart boards, if they're wooden, uh, they'll sell for 200 bucks. This one, I think I saw a comp where one sold for $100, another one for 60 something like that. Uh, I think minimum, I'm going to make at least $40 profit on it if I decide to sell it, which I probably will because let's face it, it's too difficult to get friends over to play darts in 2023 and I have nowhere to hang it. Got this Atlanta hat for $2.99. I thought, hey, this is a pretty nice graphic, uh, official NFL. So uh, I think I'll make at least $10 profit on that. Yeah, not a bad pickup. Here's a Pyrex dish I got. It's in great condition, $6.99. Looked this one up and I saw some comps anywhere between $30 and $40. Maybe $45. 
Just sold some decent Pyrex. I think I sold for $30, $35. I think I'm going to make at least $25 on this. It's got the little holder as well, so should do well on that. So I got a couple of cool lamps here. This chalkboard lava lamp, which I uh, could only find some listed for, uh, seems like 60 and and $100. It doesn't have the bulb, unfortunately, but I just immediately ordered some bulbs from Amazon for $5.99. Uh, six of them and they should be coming. I might keep this as well. Comps, I do think I could make at minimum $30 selling it though. It's in great condition. I got this cool vintage dolphin plasma lamp. This was only $4.99. Some of these plasma lamps can be really good money. Lumasource, I think, is the brand that makes a lot of them. Yeah, I think if this works, I'll be able to sell it for $45 plus shipping and make some good profit on that. Then we got some decent shoe deals. I got these brand new Crocs. I saw them and I'm like, oh, they're going to be priced high. Well, $7.99, that's fine, I guess. I'll make $20 on them, I think. Uh, they're nothing special, not like the Carol G Crocs that I found recently that I flipped for 500 bucks. But I'll take some new Crocs for $7.99. Got these San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. You know, they're not the greatest model or style. But I paid a dollar at the church thrift store, so I think I'll make like 15 bucks on them still. They're in great condition. And then this is kind of crazy. These Skechers shoes. I just found a pair of neon green ones. And I said, I've never found a style like this before. And then today I just found these, uh, the black ones, still $30, $40 pretty easily uh, these are in great condition just like the green ones i think i can get 50 or 60 even for the green ones so these three pairs of shoes are going to be some good profit and there it is everybody that is my haul i would appreciate it if you just hit that like button for me before you go you can find me on twitter instagram and tiktok flipping underscore junk and this has been wick till next time